If you are the kind of person who meets your caffeine needs with both Coke and coffee, we've got some good news for you. Coca-Cola is launching a line of juiced-up, coffee-infused sodas that come in 12-ounce cans and deliver 69 milligrams of caffeine. Compare that to a regular 12-ounce Coke, which has 34 milligrams, and you can see it's quite a boost over the baseline. Known as Coca-Cola with coffee, the drink contains Brazilian coffee and comes in three flavors – dark, vanilla, and caramel. The only bad news? It's not available nationwide until January 2021. Jadeep Kaib, vice president for Coca-Cola's trademark, said the new beverage occupies a new niche in Coke's lineup. He told Business Insider, We think of this as a hybrid category. We've got an opportunity to create almost a new subcategory called refreshment coffee. As people have been in lockdown or working from home, there's a real opportunity to get that boost, that little pick-me-up, whether it's the slump in the afternoon or mid-morning. This isn't the first time that Coca-Cola has stepped into the coffee lane. Coke first came up with the hybrid cola coffee beverage back in 2006 with Coca-Cola Black. If you were around at the time, you probably know that most folks didn't really like it. I like it. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of an <laughs> Roughly two years after it launched, it was discontinued. More than a decade later, in 2019, the company rolled out the beverage that would be known as Coca-Cola Plus Coffee or Coca-Cola with Coffee, but they didn't make their way into U.S. markets. During last year's launch of Coke and Coffee's offspring, Coke's chief technical officer Nancy Kwan told CNN Business that Coca-Cola Black's problem was that it had been introduced to the public prematurely. As she put it, that was a trend before its time. I don't think people were ready to have a coffee portfolio within the Coca-Cola brand. Just to be clear, Coke isn't making the same thing with new packaging. Coca-Cola with coffee will have more caffeine than its predecessor did. Since first being introduced in 2019, Coca-Cola with coffee has already launched across more than 25 international markets, including Australia, Italy, Spain, and Thailand. Back then, the company wouldn't say whether it would bring the drink to the U.S. According to the company, geographic markets are usually assessed and evaluated separately, and products that work outside the U.S. don't always do well stateside. But with the product already out in several markets, it doesn't take much to find out how well or how badly it might have been received. The drink appears to have come out to mixed reviews in Japan, where the beverage was presented as Coca-Cola Plus. The drink, which has 50% more caffeine and half the number of calories, was initially only available through the country's fame vending machines. Kotaku quotes the Japanese-language Shin Shohin as saying that the drink smelled, quote, odd, reportedly smelling like neither Coke nor coffee. But as the publication's reviewer diplomatically pointed out, I didn't think it tasted good, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But that didn't keep another writer from Tokyo Creative from saying that she liked the beverage. According to her assessment, you can strongly taste the coffee and the cola at the same time. And it is fizzy, which I like. Sounds fair to us. In Australia, the drink is marketed as part of the Coca-Cola No Sugar line of products, and YouTube reviewer That's Noise noted that the drink smelled like a normal Coke but with a hint of coffee, and proclaimed that it was better than he had expected. And it tastes like a really nice, balanced, well-rounded coffee. It really does. Video critics Burdu Food Reviews, who admitted they weren't coffee drinkers, also said that the drink was not bad, even though they did note an overwhelming and potentially off-putting smell of coffee. Here at home, Coca-Cola Insiders Club members get a shot at trying the new beverage before the rest of us do, and we can count on them to get on social media to tell us what they think of the new product, which is expected to come out in January 2021. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite soft drinks are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!